22 Bishop's Gate, when completed, will be the tallest building in the Eastern Cluster. What we try to do is design a calmer building, which would somehow unify all these other elaborate shapes and form the apex of the cluster. 22 Bishop's Gate is predominantly an office building with some public spaces at the base. Our starting point was quite large and quite elaborate to the point of being unbuildable. We knew that we would need a number of assessments of wind for, for the project, not only for technical and safety issues, but to analyze pedestrian comfort. And this is a result of the street pattern in, in London, which is quite medieval, which creates some unpredictability as to how wind behaves. And not just pedestrian comfort, but actually pressures on facades and structural loading. So we've been working with RWDI for quite a while now. We've approached RWDI to do a number of studies on the building because we know their expertise through previous experience and relationships with them. They're one of the very few companies that offer a wind tunnel as well. The design of the facades of the building, such a large building does create a lot of downwash. So mitigation measures at the base of the building are quite large and numerous. If we didn't make these changes, obviously you, you, could, you could think that this street here, 22 Bishop's Gate, would be really windy and it could impede people's progress up and down the street. So on this model, we have actually developed the canopy that is going along Bishop's Gate. RWDI strives to add value to big projects in city centres. We're proud to have worked on 22 Bishop's Gate, but 22 Bishop's Gate is part of a bigger growing cluster in the city centre. And we're lucky enough to have worked on many of these buildings and shaped the way our skyline looks in London. I think I've probably made five to ten different podiums and probably five towers. So, yeah, quite a few variations. There was a lot of study for it. <laughs> it's been going on for a long time. I think mostly just because it's such a big project. Yeah, I think, I mean, there's a good connection we have with the developers and the architects that they keep coming back to us and, you know, they check things with us. I mean, our experience with RWDI has been very positive. We would definitely recommend RWDI for the work that we've been involved with and they, they often form part of our list of consultees on, on new projects.